What's going on guys? Station here back with another breakdown match analysis of final round. This time we're going to be having Gur going up against Burrito Voorhees. Uh, matchup is going to be Swamp Thing going up against Adam and uh, a really interesting matchup. <laughs> um, not often do you see either of these characters. Um, so I don't really know how it's going to play out but um, Swamp Thing has really long uh, long range buttons just like that sweep. I like that uh, sweep actually show it off early. Uh, Gur is notorious for just <clears throat> round start trait and that sweep just blows it up clean. But yeah, um, the way uh, Gur plays Adam is that is they really just run away uh, until the trait comes. Um, and I, I think uh, Swamp Thing might be able to sort of catch him with the, uh, the back two club. Might be able to catch him out of the air if jumping. So. Nice. Just blocks and uh, punishes him. Nice. So wake up trait there. Uh, not, a, not a bad option really. Uh, just gets him out. And uh, I'm not really sure if there was much Swamp Thing could do about it besides like meaty sweep probably. Nice, so uh, Gur has really been just um, controlling the movement with the, um, the stomp, right? Because uh, Swamp Thing's jump is really floaty. Uh, Swamp Thing's jump is very floaty, so uh, Breda Voorhees just dashing in and walking in waiting. And uh, actually gets a full jump in there, uh, drops a combo, and then right here, right here. Uh, in the first round, we saw that, right? Blocks all of the trait mix-ups, left-right mix-ups, and then goes for the um, on-the-ground instant overhead and uh, got hit by it. This time blocks it and then gets a full punish here. Smart air escape, though. <clears throat> um, times it right for when he goes for that interactable, so he gets out clean. Nice. I think that was actually very plus. Yeah, that log kick was probably plus. Log kick is very hard for a lot of characters to deal with. Nice. Again, we see that overhead punished. Nice. And actually a jump in there from uh, Gur. So, uh, like I said, Gur playing runaway, jump back, backdash, get away. Um, Breed of War, he's getting a little impatient, dashes in, and then... Uh, Opens up an opportunity for Gur to jump in. Maybe he'll be able to use it in competitive mode. Which by maybe I mean he can't, but you know buy it anyway. Interesting decision to uh, restand there, and uh, I'm surprised that the uh, trait actually worked out. But nice. I love this option right here by. Uh, uh, Gur here. So, blue trait sends it out. Uh, sends out the other thing. Beaker. Uh, puts the goo on the ground. Tracks the ground. And then he goes into meter burn back three. So, we got blue trait on the ground. If they go to jump the blue trait, gets jumped right into that meter burn back three. Really smart by um, uh, Gur. The way he's moving right now shows he does not want to stand still. He doesn't want to wait. And that's Gur's game plan. Gur wants to frustrate you. And jumps in again yep, and then uh, punishes him with the trait. Again, um, sends out the blue trait and then uh, ready for that air jump in, whatever. All right, game number two going on now. Um, seeing a character change, actually, Brainiac from Burrito Voorhees. Uh, not, I did not know he played Brainiac. Um, but, uh, yeah, completely different um, way the matchup is going to be played. Um, doesn't really have to deal with the stomps at all because of how airborne uh, Brainiac is. So, we'll have to see. Nice, I like that. Um, back forward two here to catch any dash in or 
uh, jump in, and he actually stood right right up into it. He doesn't want to deal with science. Brainiac has a huge priority on his air normals, especially with that dive kick. Punish. Yes. Nice. Punishes the uh, dive kick. And Kerr already with two full combos in this situation. Yep. Goes for the restand, then just backs off. That Kerr really just loves the um. That that hit and run style play, and I love this too. Gets that knockdown and then jumps back here, uh, baiting out the wake up from Brainiac. Really smart. All right, so I think um, part of the reason behind this Brainiac pick is the knockdown into the trait. It really will sort of lock down Adam on wake up, where wake up trait is not an option. Mistime that slightly, so. And no, two hits to break through that meter burn back three in time. Trying to block it out. The defense, and he does. Oh. Uh, blocks the overhead, but misses the punish there and uh, got clipped by the second overhead. Wow. So, red trait, um, you saw him using that, and, and that is definitely the reason why. Hits a uh, straight up vertical beam. Really going to stop any air approach there, which is really good versus Brainiac. <laughs> nice. So this is smart by both guys, right? Uh, you can see Brainiac trying to tendril swing his way in. Uh, Adam avoiding it. And then once he's full screen, he realizes he's not going to get anything with the trade. So he just cancels and uh, uh, saves himself from getting punished. No punish on that dive kick, yikes. Chased on the back dash with the dive kick. Alright, so there, Burrito Vork, he's actually charged up the the drone and um, didn't send it out right away, so uh, Wake Up Trade actually worked out. Alright. Game number three now. Standard start again. Uh, started around the same exact way. Jump one, cancel into two. Uh, dive kick. Nice. So this little sequence from uh, Gurr. Blue trait doesn't go into the uh, second beaker. Just goes right into this. Brainiac is a very airborne character, so um, uh, with that instant dive kick as well, can uh, easily punish Adam if he went for the uh, blue tray or blue science into the beaker to send out the goo. Um, Gur trying to get that next level read and uh, just goes right into the EX um, projectile to catch the dive kick, trying to punish Adam, uh, but doesn't work out for him. <laughs> nice. So it's really interesting, actually, how Burrito is playing Brainiac. He's not really playing that airborne. Uh, look at he's not playing airborne at all. He's just dashing in, uh, dashing and dashing and dashing in, and it's really working out for him. You can see Gurr as well, uh, not really respecting like him on wake up at all, just waking up with all these unsafe things, waking up with a button, waking up Trey, and he's really getting blown up for it. Waking up back, just trying to get away, but really just uh, getting opened up. Nice. So that time he went uh, overhead into the overhead that time he goes overhead low and open him up all right so this is what the adaptation needs to be right more stomps to catch in the catch the dashes coming in right uh, more stomps maybe go in yourself more projectiles to stop all the dashes from brainiac right the stomps will cause him to jump which will open up the ex projectile and we'll see ya Nice. Now you can see him even buffer a stand one there. All right, so he got lucky there with a wake up, wake up projectile uh, worked out for him. 
even though um, all those oh, other non-wake up uh, wake ups were not working out. He got punished so many times for trying to wake up. Look at he's just trying to get away, but uh, Breed of Orky's not allowing it and just really chasing him down. Okay, game four now. Same characters, uh, different stage. And we got to see if uh, Gur can adapt to this rushdown Brainiac. Really no air mobility at all. Uh, like I said, I think he needs more stomps. And uh, maybe down threes. Yeah, and he needs to stop waking up. Look at look at how many times, right? So, wake up trait gets blown up. Uh, wake Regular wake up gets blown up. If he's going to wake up, he's got to wake up meter burn teleport. That's the only thing that's been working. Or the only thing that would work. Yeah, again, wake up trait not working. Uh, it, this is really like a bit of stubbornness now from uh, Gur, and it could cost him. Alright, so this uh, I don't think green trait or green science here is a is a smart option. Uh, Brainiac's wake up right pushes you about quarter screen away uh, if it hits and if if it's blocked. Uh, meter burn sends you pretty much back half screen. So uh, green science set up here. I, I don't think it's the smartest option. Oh my god, you're melting. Waited. He knew. The drone to the rescue. All right, now watching his legs is Gerb, but neither is Burrito Borges. As he getting a lot there, there it is. That's the wake up that's going to work. Go and cancel into the double jump. Damage over time, putting up the wall. Is it enough? It is enough. Wow. Even if you block that, the chip damage, it would have held them enough time. Uh, yeah. with the frame. All right, so a little bit more um, more stuff working for uh, Kerr. He's... Um, um, what, what, what am I trying to say here? Uh, getting, getting his... Uh, like you saw him, he threw out a little bit of down threes here. I think that's a really good button. Uh, to use the uh, stomps, he's using a lot more stomps, uh, and it's really gonna shut down uh, the dashes. Right. Only spends one bar. I think that's a fine decision. Now that they were even on life. Going in here. That makes sense to me. Nice, yeah. And, uh, Ultra David says it. Um, that lame play from Gur was not working out at all, right? So you saw him start jumping in and uh, actually opens up uh, Breed of Orhees, but Breed of Orhees is a crazy read right there. Wake up, uh, whatever that move is. Gurr's known to hit people with supers looking for something to react to, and there it is on the down one. Yes, Gurr is gonna fight. Alright, so, um, yeah, Gurr just reacts to down one there with super. Uh, pretty good, pretty good stuff there. I think uh, a smarter thing to do would have been not walk forward and just do down forward one, but you know, hindsight 2020, baby. Nice, beautiful uh, punish there. Recognize that the uh, wake up or the uh, yeah, it's the wake up from Brainiac. Uh, doesn't do it on wake up, but recognize that it whiffs and uh, gets a full combo punish. All right, so now um, Breed of Voorhees is really going out to that dive kick more. Uh, the entire first two games as Brainiac, we saw uh, only going dash up down one. Uh, now he's using the trait um, and going for dive kicks more. And I want to point something out here. Right here, right? Um... Uh, Adam and a Gur as Adam goes for a backdash here. I think dashing as against Brainiac is never a good option, right? Um, the dive kick is too quick and tracks so good 
that uh, you will get punished almost every time. Even if your backdash makes the first hit of the dive kick whiff, just like so, uh, the meter burn, right, it's just going to catch you. Uh, I just I just don't think dashing against Brainiac is ever a good option. Walking and blocking or just walking back, that is the way to do it. I like the idea. It keeps him out of the range. Doesn't quite get the punish as Adam is able to recover in time, but... Chasing him down, trying to figure out how to deal with Gers. Again, look at this. So Gers still stubborn, right? Not respecting the wake up. Look, it tries to wake up projectile. And then right there, wake up down one. That's the only wake up that's working, is the meter burn teleport. Right there, tries to wake up Trey, getting stuffed again. Gur really just needs to accept the fact that the wake up game is not working out and needs to, uh, needs to adapt. One of the, uh, the uh, major, major thing into becoming a better player is not being stubborn, right? Learning to accept when things are working and, and change uh, on the fly, right? So adapting, obviously. And uh, I just want to point something out here, too. Every single uh, wake up or uh, knockdown that Adam gets... Uh, he's like trying to bait out the wake up and is jumping over or jumping back and um, Burrito Voorhees has taken note of that and woke up with something ridiculous every time. Woke up down two several times. Woke up trait and again this time wakes up down two. I think the same situation that uh, Adam or Gur is in on wake up, he's in on knockdown, right? He has to just go for the meaty and uh, block the meaty on wake up so nice so I like how uh, Gur's using the projectiles now right there tries to bait out a a uh, air escape doesn't come though and I like this so changes it up gets a knockdown does jump into trait that was smart there is an adaptation that uh, we need and now he's very close damage over time the wall is there is sitting on a super and gets a conversion into the combo and that was such a sick conversion yes <laughs> the animation's so long that they can zoom in on the players, and I cannot believe that killed. Gur, don't believe it killed either, but wow. Um, that was actually pretty crazy, but good stuff to uh, Brito Voorhees. Um, he found something he could exploit against Gur, which was those four dashes and the uh, knockdown game, right? And Gur just did, didn't adapt. That's all it was. Gur lack of adaptation allowed uh, Breed of Voorhees to take that pretty convincingly. E even though the score was 3-2, um, I think there was never an opportunity where Breed of Voorhees was not in control of that match. Uh, the pure like speed at which the match was played was all dictated by Breed of Voorhees. And uh, I think it was really um, not what Gur wanted to play the game at. So, um, good stuff to uh, Breed of Voorhees. Moves on to Luz's finals, I think. Uh, going to face his brother. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with another breakdown match analysis of oh, final round. Peace. I, 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 I